Welcome back to Passionately Catholic. I'm Anthony Digman, and together we are falling more in love with God, enriching our prayer life and growing in virtue as we explore one of the greatest spiritual classics of all time, Introduction to the Devout Life by St. Francis de Sales. Today is Part 2, Chapter 17, How to Hear and Read God's Word. Be sure to find the link in the description below to get your free copy of this book, sign up for emails with each video of this series in sequential order and join our Passionately Catholic Facebook group. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video so that you can evangelize with us. Let us begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be to you, God, as we come before you in our brokenness and sorrow for our sin. We thank you for your unconditional love and mercy. Please grant the prayers we offer today, and in all things, thy will be done. Come, Holy Spirit, and St. Francis de Sales, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. All right. Now, yesterday, when we talked about the saints and the guardian angels and all that kind of stuff, it was not a super long reading, but <laughs> there was quite a bit that I uh, felt called to share in that particular piece. This one is very short. There's only two paragraphs. So perhaps today we'll make up for the longer, uh, longer video yesterday. So here we go. Cultivate a special devotion to God's Word, whether studied privately or in public. Always listen to it with attention and reverence. Strive to profit by it and do not let it fall to the ground, but receive it within your heart as a precious balm, thereby imitating the Blessed Virgin who kept all these sayings in her heart. Remember that our Lord receives our words of prayer according to the way in which we receive his words in teaching. What this reminds me of is in the sacred scriptures, there's a piece where it says, the measure with which you measure out to others will in turn be measured out to you, right? Now, this seems to be what St. Francis de Sales is talking about here is how we receive inspirations from God, how we read his word, that's how God's going to receive how we communicate back to him as well. So let us receive the sacred scriptures especially, but also something like this, sacred reading, uh, a spiritual classic from St. Francis de Sales and the other spiritual books that we might read, any spiritual readings that we might read, but especially sacred scripture. Let us receive those with a special type of reverence and treat them with the dignity that they deserve and really soak in those that when we offer our petitions back to God, our prayers back to God, he may hold them with similar reverence and similar respect and similar care as we hold to the word that he shares with us. We continue. You should always have some good devout book at hand, such as the writings of St. Bonaventura, Gerson, Dennis the Carthusian, Blosius, Grenada, Stella, Arius, Penella, De Ponte, Avila, the spiritual combat, the confessions of St. Augustine, St. Jerome's epistles, or the like, and daily read some small portion attentively, as though you were reading letters sent by the saints from paradise to teach you the way thither and encourage you to follow them. Beautiful, right? And this is what we're doing like right now. If you've been a part of this exploration of St. Francis de Sales' spiritual masterpiece, Introduction to the Devout Life, right here, that's exactly what we're doing. We're we're taking a little piece. It's just two paragraphs today. And we're using these. We're soaking in these, this spiritual reading. And we're taking at least 10 minutes of silent prayer afterward in terms of our day, connecting with God, hopefully in contemplative prayer, quiet prayer, where we listen to the Lord. This is exactly what we're doing, what St. Francis de Sales suggests that we do. But I love what this image that he provides for us. Imagine these as letters being sent from the saints, from heaven to you and to me right? Let's receive them with that goodness and richness as they guide us ever closer to eternal glory, to our Lord, and to our ultimate vocation in heaven. We continue. Read the lives of the saints too, which are as a mirror to you of the Christian life, and try to imitate their actions according to your circumstances. For although many things which the saints did may not be practicable for those who live in the world, they may be followed more or less. 
Thus, in our spiritual retreats, we imitate the solitude of the first hermit, St. Paul. In the practice of poverty, we imitate St. Francis, and so on. Of course, some lives throw much more light upon our daily course than others, such as the life of St. Teresa, which is most admirable. The first Jesuits, St. Charles Borromeo, the Archbishop of Milan, St. Louis, St. Bernard, St. Francis, and such like. Others are more the subjects of our admiring wonder than of imitation, such as St. Mary of Egypt, St. Simeon Stylites, and St. Catherine of Genoa, and St. Catherine of Siena, St. Angela, etc. Although these should tend to kindle a great love of God in our hearts. So, this little piece here, as we look to some of these saints, some of them are going to inspire us more in terms of, wow, what they did was incredible. I may not be called to that in my own life, but perhaps there's a way that I can practice what they did in some similar fashion. And there are other saints that we can relate to even more closely and say, you know what? I can do what they did. Maybe not the entirety of it all right now, but something that they did from their life by studying their life, we can be inspired by that, learn from that, and say, you know what? I can do that. Or I can do that better. I can imitate that saint. And while we do this, here's what I'd propose. This saint is alive in heaven right now. They can intercede for you and for me right now. So if if we're reading a life of a saint or a, a reading from a saint, what have you, and we don't fully understand it or we want to get the fullness of the fruits from it or the graces from it, let's reach out to that saint and ask them for their help in understanding it and applying it to our own lives because they are there. They can help us to do this, right? They can ask our guardian angel to help guide us through this, which is why every day in our introduction to the devout life reading as part of the prayer is we ask for the special intercession of St. Francis de Sales that he may pray for us. We're practicing this as well. I love it. All right, my friend, remember, spend at least 10 minutes in prayer today. Silent prayer with God. Listen, spend some of that time in contemplative prayer and listen to the Lord and what he wants to speak to your heart today. Special thanks to all of our patrons who made this episode and all that we do at Passionately Catholic possible. Find our Patreon link below to join in our mission. Make it a great day. God bless you, my friend, and I look forward to joining you again in the next episode.